So we're starting a new segment here on Wake Up With Al. It's called Weather Geek Wednesday, where we dig deeper into the science behind what makes the weather around us so amazing. A couple of weeks ago, I was watching Ari Sarsolari there you go. doing a periscope, and I thought, this guy's terrific. We should get him on, AM, uh, on AMHQ. And I said, no, let's not do that. Let's get him on Wake <laughs> Up With Al. All right, so Ari is joining us this morning. And there was a really cool picture, Ari, that was uh, making its rounds. Yeah, this was uh, one of the cooler things I've seen in a while as far as video goes. You know, we've all seen these storms before where you can actually see rain falling out of the sky in the distance. This one's a little different. This is from Saturday, by the way, in North Texas. All right, here's what's interesting about this. You see this stuff out on the leading edge that's bright white? That's actually hail. You can actually see the hail falling out of the storm. And, of course, we've got the rainbow here as well. That's created from a lot of that rain that is kind of wrapped around the hail. So I was pretty interested in this storm. I wanted to see uh, where this guy was. His name is Frank Sanders, and I wanted to see what kind of storm was producing this. So we took a look at the radar files, and when I found out he was close to Quanah, Texas, he was actually just on the south side of Quanah, I figured that it was this storm, okay? And this was a storm that actually ended up producing three-inch hail in Quanah. It also went on to become the Elmer and Tipton uh, tornado producing supercell. I assumed it was that storm, but remember the precip was moving from right to left. So if he was standing on the south side of Quana, it would have to be kind of down here, the storm, right? Okay, so it was actually the second storm that he was seeing. Now, we want to talk about the vertical structure of the storm because I think a lot of people think the storm is just built perfectly vertically when really that's not the case. This thing actually had a really tilted updraft. I'm going to show it to you in 3D uh, so you can actually see this. Look at this. It was really sheared from south to north. You can see how everything was really tilted in this storm. So we're going to turn it around for you. We're going to fly you right into exactly where Frank was standing during this. And then we're going to play it and watch what happens. By the way, the pink is the hail. Okay, that's really big stuff. You see it way high up here in the updraft. And then you can see, boom, it falls to the ground. So that's exactly what he was seeing. We could actually use radar to kind of pop in there and take a peek at it. So there you go. We did it. We figured out the uh, mystery, I suppose. And, uh, yay, we got to look at at least some pretty colors and all that good stuff, right, guys? <laughs> Looking at pretty colors. I like that. Ari Sosalari, thanks so much. From weather.com. And uh, so you're, gonna, you're always periscoping and doing all that kind of neat stuff, right, Ari? <laughs> yeah, a lot of periscope stuff. You know, it's still pretty new. Everybody's still trying to figure it out. And, you know, we've been covering severe weather on periscope and all that stuff. So, yeah, it's been fun.